Hey everybody, welcome back to Paul and Shannon's Collector Corner. Paul here today. Uh, we decided that uh, I was going to do a, kind of a little bit of a throwback video. So back in at the end of 2018, I was opening up a lot of Magic the Gathering Ultimate Masters boxes. Uh, of course, these are the box toppers right here. So I'm going to apologize right now if the title of this video is a little bit clickbaity. Um, I do have 23 Ultimate Masters box toppers to open in this video. Uh, this particular box right here did not contain 23. <laughs> um, actually, I ended up buying a bunch of Ultimate Masters during the second wave release um, for a lot more money than I probably should have. Uh, if, In case you're not familiar with this product, each box contained 24 packs like these and one box topper. The box topper contains one of 40 different cards, either mythic, rare, or a couple uncommons from the Ultimate Master set, uh, ranging in price as of today, June 23rd, from somewhere around $185 all the way down to about $9 <laughs> in value. They used to be a lot more valuable. Um, uh, things have really kind of stabilized, come down. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll talk about this set overall. Um, so I thought it would just be kind of fun to open up all the rest of my box toppers in one video because I don't think I'm going to be opening up any more packs of these, just so you know. Um, so, okay, let's show you. Here's what box toppers look like. Uh, here's some that I got in previous videos. If you watched some of the earlier videos from this channel, you've seen these. Had Mana Vault. That's a nice card. Karn Liberated. That's the most expensive box topper I ever got right there. Now, it's not the most expensive today. Uh, I think Mana Vault is probably more than Karn. Um, Through the Breach, Caracas, Celestial Colonnade, Eternal Witness, Leovold, Reanimate, Engineered Explosives, Creeping Tar Pit, Ancient Tomb, Gaddock Teague. Um, we've had a couple of other ones. I, these are just ones I grabbed for this video. So really hoping you did get a Liliana. We've never gotten one of those. Uh, never got a Cavern of Souls, Snapcaster, uh, Urborg. Those are the four most valuable box toppers as of today. So let's just take a look and let's see. Now, uh, in case you are wondering, um, when I bought my boxes of Ultimate Masters, I paid with tax $330 each. Um, so, you know, about what you can buy a box today for, give or take. Um, I, I am not selling uh, box toppers right now on eBay. Oh man, Dark Depths. Oh, that's a cool looking one. I thought we had gotten a Dark Depths before. Let's see. No, I don't see one. My stack of cards. That is really awesome looking. I love the way it looks. I love him looking up like through the ice and seeing the guy walking on it. That is so cool looking. All right. Good first start. It's a good like kind of middle of the road. Well, let's take a look. Dark Depths. I've got my iPad here off to the side. Uh, Dark Depths, $61.00 as of today. Okay, so, um, sorry, as you get older, you, you lose track of, of what you're saying as you're doing other stuff. Um, oh yeah, yeah, if you want to check, oh, Snapcaster! Snapcaster Mage right there. Never seen him before in Box Topper, or I've never gotten him personally before in Box Topper. Oh, he's awesome looking. He looks really cool. That, that expanded art or zoomed in art and no board on the side really makes that card kind of pop. Wow. So we do have an eBay store. Uh, the link for that is always in the description down below. If you need packs of Ultimate Masters, um, you know, you can check out what we've got there. We do have pack lots where you have a chance of getting one of the box toppers that has been opened on this channel. Um, so that's kind of fun. Let's see here. Who's next? Who's next? Two good cards to start off with. Come on, let's keep it going. No Lava Claw reaches. Oh, you said it and there it was. Okay, so we went from, what was it? The second most expensive card in the set? Third. At 140 for Snappy, all the way down to the bottom card, which was... Oh, Lava Claw reaches about nine bucks. So, there we go. Boo. That's okay. That's all right. That happens. That happens. All right. 
Next up, hey Karn. So one of the top six, uh, $90, very cool. That's a great looking card also. Beautiful artwork. Now Karn came way down in price. He was like 160 for the box topper. Um, and the card, just the regular Mythic, was like 50, 60 bucks. He went down to like 24, $25. Um, these cards have really had a roller coaster ride. And it's wild what some of the rares are going for now. Uh, Phyrexian Altar that you can't get in box topper version. Um, that's like 40 bucks now. All right, Gorio's Vengeance. That is another cheaper topper right there. That's about 10, 11 bucks. So not such a great one there. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the not so great ones off to the side here. We'll have the the better ones down here. I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. Let's see. Can't see what I got going on. There we go. All right. Um, Demonic Tutor is is forty five dollars right now. Uh, Urborg is twenty five. Frexian Tower is about fifteen or sixteen. Um, you know, then you got the Mythics with Liliana came down in price. Now she's up to about 60, 65. Cavern of Souls is 60 bucks. All right, we have Kozilek, Butcher of Truth, one of the Eldrazi. Probably the most expensive Eldrazi right now. So he's about 80 bucks for the box topper. So very cool. Uh, the regular card of Kozilek is closing in on 50, I think. Which is wild because he used to be in the 20s. Um, Micaeus has gone way up. Uh, really, the only the only lower priced mythics anymore are Sigarda, Host of Herons, uh, the the Elemental guy. Uh, what is it, Lord of Destruction? All right, there's Caracas. Caracas is one that's you know about 15, 16 bucks for the regular. The box topper version, I want to say is 40 or 50. Let me check that on uh, TCG. No, it's only 35. About 35 bucks. Beautiful card. Great, great ability too. Actually, I don't know why that one's so cheap. I would really think that a lot of people would want that for Commander. But, I don't know. Okay. So we got Double Masters coming out later this year uh, in August. Oh no, another Caracas. Great card. I love the card, but not real thrilled about opening box toppers to get it. Um, yeah, we've got Double Masters coming out, which is going to have two box toppers per box, but it's going to be totally different cards, I think. I, I really, I don't know, I don't know if anything from Ultimate Masters is going to get reprinted in Double Masters or anything of of real value. Platinum Imperion. Okay, so this is another one of the feel bad uh, mythics that you can get. This guy's seven to ten dollars somewhere. The box topper's like fourteen dollars. Um, not really what you want to see out of a box topper. You definitely want to be getting Snapcasters and Karn and Lily and things like that. Demonic Tutor is another box topper we never got on this channel. Hey, Urborg! Urborg, Tomb of Yagimoth. That is such a cool picture. And this is just an awesome ability. So there that is. So Urborg is a cool card. Um, I have no idea why this got as cheap as it did. It was down like about nine or ten dollars, and now it's up to 25-ish. That's just such a cool card. That's definitely in the top five as far as valuable box toppers from this set right now. Come on, Liliana. Come on, Demonic Tutor. Okay, Eternal Witness. This is actually the fourth Eternal Witness we've opened on this channel, <laughs> which is wild. It's uh, it's a great, great card. It's actually one of my favorite cards in the set, and I love the artwork on this one. Um, yeah, just a cool card. Used to be a lot more valuable than it is today. I want to say, I want to say it used to be like eighty bucks. And now it is, well, 55, okay. So it's worth more than I thought it was. I thought it had gone down into the 30s for the box topper. All right, here we go. Bitter Blossom, beautiful artwork on this card. So this is another one that has kind of really fallen as far as the, 
the price of the box topper. So this one at one time used to be about $100. It is now about $60, but it's just gorgeous artwork. And it's a cool card. I know that the printing of the secret layer uh, that had Bitter Blossom in it hasn't helped anything out as far as the value goes. Um, it's making the card more accessible for people to get, which I think is a good thing overall. Um, I like the idea of the cards being accessible for people and then for like special edition cards to be made of like really desirable cards. I really do like that model. Um, so you can let me know down in the comments what you think about that. Karn Liberated, second Karn. Well, these have been some great pulls so far. I mean, that's just phenomenal. Another Karn, because it's the third Karn now. No Lily, no Cavern of Soul, three Karns total that we've opened. No Noble High Arc, no Demonic Tutor. All right, come on, open up here. I don't, I don't want to be too rough with these packs. Got to be careful. All right, there we go. All right, Gaddock Teague, um, known as Old Man Rudy for those of you who watch Alpha Investments. Um, cool looking card. I like the artwork on this. Um, kind of a cool, cool ability. I've never played with him, but kind of neat. Now we were talking about things that were being reprinted in Double Masters. I know that some of the rares from this set have been are, have been announced. Oh no, it, uh, it's being reprinted in Core 2021. It was Ruined Halo and Containment Priest are coming back in 2021. All right, another Eldrazi. We have Ulamog. The infinite gyro or gyri or however you pronounce that so very cool i like his helmet so that's two of the three eldrazi not really hoping to to get the third one um emra cool the aeon's torn is not very desirable just because it's banned in commander didn't know that at the time all right sigarda host of herons Got ourselves an angel. Um, so let's see. This is one of the cheaper box toppers. I'm looking to see what this one goes for. Give me just a second, guys. Uh-oh. Sorry, my internet's not working. I'm trying to hold the screen up here. So Gaddick Teague, he was $19. Gorio's Vengeance, 11 said. And Sigarda... It's actually not as cheap as I thought, about 33. So not, not, not as bad as I was thinking. All right, it looks like we have maybe eight of these left. Eight more chances to get a Lily, a Demonic Tutor, Cavern of Souls. Come on. So there's these codes written inside. I just noticed that. I've never seen that before. I wonder if that tells you what card is inside. I'm gonna have to look at that. So that is this card right here, Kitchen Finks. Okay, that's another feel bad card. That's 15, 20 bucks maybe in box topper. So that was, uh, last number is 161. We're hoping we don't get any more of those. Well, let's take a look here. Are these identical numbers? Looks like it. 182531161. So let's see if this is a Kitchen Finks. If it is, then we know we're kind of on to something. If it's not, then we know the number means nothing. The number means nothing. Gorio's Vengeance. Still not a wonderful card, but that's the way it goes. All right. Maelstrom Pulse. Awesome card. Um, actually, it's a great card. I love the idea that you can destroy any non-land permanent and all other permanents with the same name uh, for that casting cost. It's a great commander card, but not such a wonderful pull compared to some of the other things you can get in the box toppers. We are down to our last one, two, three, four. Come on, Lily. All right, reanimate. Beautiful card. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. 
So that's one of the mid-range cards. I think this one's like a $50, $60 card. Let's, uh, let's just take a look. No, wow, I was really wrong. Uh, 35 is what it's showing at right now. I would have thought that was a lot more. Because the normal version of that card is going up in price right now. It'd be cool if you could get Entomb in this. All right, Platinum Imperion, another low dollar topper. Come on, we need to get like, I'd love to get like one more big, big value topper. <laughs> Stirring Wildwood. All right, uh, I think that's like the second to lowest value one. That's like 12, 13 bucks. Better than Lava Claw Reaches. Oh no, I said it again. This is our last one too. Here we go. Come on, no whammies, big money. Big money, no whammies. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Kitchen Finks, okay. So let me grab the camera off the tripod here. Sorry for the shakiness, I just wanna show you everything. So we ended up getting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I lost count, six. Looks like 10, not great at all. Like like really low dollar uh, toppers. We ended up getting, I would say three, we got four, four of the best. Snapcaster, two Karns, and then Urborg. Uh, Ulamog, Kozilek, Bitter Blossom, um, those are all in the mid range. Dark Depths, Eternal Witness kind of bring up the next tier. Then we've got Reanimate, Sigarda, Caracas, kind of rounding things out for us. So we did not get as much variety as I would hope. Um, actually ended up getting a lot of duplicates in this opening and actually a lot of duplicates from ones we've already opened. Uh, so not a whole lot of new stuff here, but that was actually a lot of fun. To me, I like doing this because it kind of kind of shows you how hard it is to get certain cards. Like Liliana, we've never gotten a single one. We've never gotten a single Cavern of Souls and we've now opened well over 50 box toppers. Um, what else? No Demonic Tutor. Uh, it's just kind of wild how, how tough it is to get some of these. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, leave it a thumbs up if you did. Uh, and let me know in the comments if you want to see me open up Double Masters when that comes out. I'm kind of thinking I might get a box or two of that. It just seems like too much fun with the two foils, two rares, two box toppers. Uh, two foils per pack, two rares per pack, two box toppers per box. Um, I think that would just be a lot of fun, and I'm already liking some of the cards they've spoiled. So anyway, let me know. Uh, thanks so much for watching again, and I will see you guys next time.